In this session, we looked at the risks and opportunities for central bank independence and what independence might look like in future. While independence has been mostly successful, the better the Bank of England and other central banks do in one area, the more they will be asked to do in others. This could give central banks too many responsibilities and ultimately puts independence at risk. To avoid this, central banks must be clear about what they are responsible for and what they are not. This means, for example, being clear that the Monetary Policy Committee's job is to keep prices stable, not look after the economy's general well-being. This means that central banks should be wary of accepting new responsibilities or seeking new powers. Policymakers, like people, have a tendency to forget the past. This could lead to complacency and to central bankers engaging in goal creep or taking on too many responsibilities because they have forgotten what happened when central banks had been overstretched in the past. Post-financial crisis, it's more important than ever for central banks to reach out to the public and build understanding of and support for their work. More outreach will be essential for preserving independence in the future.